Greetings and welcome back to Dyson Sphere program. I'm Catherine of Sky and we're here in the mall and um, trying to figure out how to get space warpers here. What I'm thinking of doing is building a small local tower and put a belt to each of these towers. And this is going to be some serious spaghetti, which I'm just delighting in, um, so that these guys can all get space warpers because uh, we kind of need them. We kind of need them. Okay, does this one need space warpers? Probably not. Uh, no, probably not. So, but anyway, I now think that I should add uh, water pumps to one of these towers. That would be a very useful thing. Let's see. Oil extractor, oil refinery. Hmm, those can also be useful. Liquid containers. I think I can take those with me. Here are the water pumps. Maybe I should just take them with me and not add them to the mall or the, yeah, the towers. I think that would be better. Anyway, I think what I'll do here is let us build a tower to request warpers. Uh, here we go. Let's build just a local tower is fine. Hello. 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 Okay. All right. Add that one there. Unless we add this one. No, that's got too many things. This one is a local tower. Hey, maybe we can just use that one. Let's use this one instead. Okay, so this is going to request warpers, I think. Components. Space warpers. Okay, and we're going to request like 200 maybe. Transport range of drones 180 deg degrees. I've never noticed that, that that was there. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm not going to connect it right now uh, because we don't... What is this? Where is this belt going? Hello? Is this diamonds that we don't have imported? Wait a second. Do we not have silicon diamonds coming in somewhere? Hello? No? Oh. Okay, well that's a problem. Um, I can't remember if we're making them somewhere or not. I could put that line, one of those lines here, but this is actually a problem. I don't remember if we're making silicon diamonds anywhere. I don't think so. Kind of like looking around. I think glass is up there. Pretty sure it's not that way. Did I ever set these up? I'm wondering if I set them up on the other planet. Urgh. I'm just like confused now, like, huh? What happened to these things? Um, that's kind of a good thing though. I think we need to definitely address this. However, it's not too bad. I think we can maybe address it here because we do have the high purity silicon and these diamonds or uh, crystals, whatever they're called. Crystal silicon is made from these bars. So I think we can just have a belt coming out this way uh, and attach it here. So let us go ahead and get one there going that way. We'll add this going there. Silicon, yes. And go up. There we go. All right. Let's go. And that way we'll have a tiny smelter and that will work. And we can have another tiny smelter here just to make two of them. Okay. Very nice. Okay. Now our small tower is going to provide the warpers to these other towers here. How do we want to do this? I think we can do things quite simply and just have little grabby things instead of having proper splitters. Those are some very tricky bits to get into. Yes. Mm hmm Okay, so <laughs> I'm just like looking around like, okay, uh-huh, this is fun. It is actually fun. This is going to be our warpers. So we go this way. Oh, shoot. I was going to, before we got any, I was going to just add these things. I'm going to go ahead and go up here, yeah, up here like this, 
So we have those exits free. And then we have another entrance going here. Like this. There we go. And we need a power pole, of course. Okay. And then we can do find some more spaghettified kind of arrangements this way. I do enjoy the spaghetti very much, I have to say. Uh, here we're gonna have to go down and then up like a tiny roller coaster. I know someone who has a lot of fun with his factory and all the roller coasters. Uh, shout out to Peps who is making a very, very interesting factory, which I like very much. I think it's cool. And hopefully he'll let me showcase it to you one day. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm, gonna, I'm not going to connect this belt directly. I'm just going to make a broken connection with a sorter. And that's so that we can pass these on if we need more uh, later. Okay, so let's go back here and do the same thing with this belt. Just add one going in and sort of thingy thingy there we go and power power yes it has it all the things all the stuff okay i guess we can import these things now i forgot that we didn't have a tower to that's actually uh handling these we're just gonna add this this way what i want to make sure of is that we have everything this is requesting yes okay is that we have everything automated that's really important to what we're doing here oh speaking of automation let's look at these towers and see Okay, so distance to enable warp, yeah, 12 AU. I think there are no system or planets in our system that are farther away than 12 astronomical units. Um, the rest are light years away, which are quite a bit farther than uh, AU. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, let's go and find our uh, setup for these things, which is over here. We might have to build another particle collider, which is, again, another crazy wild run of materials okay so they're here we have 41 and that's not a lot what are we waiting on here it's just very slow that's what we're waiting on so we actually need another one of these um builder things okay so let's just do that we are gonna grab actually i'm gonna i want to grab a few of these for myself let's see see i can carry how many 20 I'll put the other 20 or the other uh, residue into the box and then that can be inserted into this tower. Oh, isn't that nice? That works perfectly. All right. And this thing is going to carry warpers. Uh, and of course, it's going to fill up its own collection first. I think it fills up with like 50. Uh, but I'm not quite sure. Either 50 or 100. So we're going to store 400. Will be local supply for this. And I forgot to set the other one to be local demand. Okay, so that's that's definitely on my list. Um, oh, we do have a problem here. These guys are not getting any diamonds. Okay. So what I want to do is we need to export the diamonds over here. Let's get those going. I wonder if I should add another diamond maker. Because it doesn't go very fast. It's quite slow, actually. Um, and it might be nice to have one diamond maker. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Let's just do that. Let's have like three. One. Okay, there we are. And this guy can just go up, up. I think it's three up or something. Just remove that. There we are. Very nice. And then this power pole can move a tiny bit to over there. And belts. Sure. Send that belt here and have another. Oh. 
Hello? Why not? Where? <sighs> okay, fine. You want to be that way? We're going to be that way. We'll just have a curly belt. I don't care. There we go. Much better. Okay, we might need to extend this lineup of makers as well. So let's get rid of this wind mine. Just add a couple more machines on each side here. This is this is one of the fun parts of these kinds of games for me. It's like, okay, we suddenly don't have enough because we built this early game. So let's fix this problem and try to have more, you know? I think that's fun. I like that part. Okay, so these are all going into here. We have many diamonds. And it's time I think we can put down another tower. We can put it maybe here. That should be fine. Grab a, a thingy. There we go. And I guess we probably don't need... We probably don't need the box anymore. I think we can just get rid of the box altogether. This is going to store diamonds. As many as possible. Do we want to have a huge buffer though? Let's have a max of a thousand. I think we don't need any more than that. Okay, let's get rid of that sorter, that sorter. And we're going to get this belt going that way. There we go. All right, so this is going to empty into the tower here. And we're going to add drones to this tower. That should be plenty. Uh, okay, it's looking good. Looking really great. And then these guys are going to fill this up as they can. This is done, so we can just remove that. Perfect. All right. Let's go and look at the receiver tower, which is somewhere. There it is. Aha. We found our thing imaging. Oh, you know what else we can get? We can also go and get the, oh, there's millions of diamonds here. Whoa. How are we not using these diamonds? Hello. You know, you know, okay. Yeah, this is, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Why are we doing this silly stuff? I completely forgot that we had diamonds in such a huge way over there. Okay, that's fine though. Whoa, this is making a lot of graph, uh, graphy stuffy. Yeah, graphy stuff. Yeah, that sounds like a very technical name, doesn't it? Let's make another one of these, can we please? Hello? Hello? Let's see, what do I not have? I don't have much of this. I think I'm, I think I might need the titanium alloy actually. Let's get maybe, sure, many. Uh, yeah, hello, one. Okay, let's make one. Make one, one at a time. Okay, so let's just get rid of this very silly, silly, silly thing here. And nobody notified me that, hey, KOS, you're making like a billion diamonds over there. Oh, I forgot to use the shift. That's a nice, nice thing. Okay, let's fix that. So yellow science, tons of diamonds. I'm going to just put a tower at the end here. Because I feel like that's going to be useful. Transportation, yes. Put a tiny ways out. Yep, and store a kabillion. All right, and power. Okay, let's get, again, divert the ships back in here. Five should be enough. I think it can hold like 50 of these kinds of ships. I'm going to put these guys in here. Now, how many... Can I... Oh, I need these and those, and I'm lacking what for these? Like this. Okay, I'm lacking silicon bars. Yeah, I really need to have a, I don't know, a pickup point or a making point for these guys. I don't really need many of them, but more than one is always good. Oh, need foundation. No. 
All right, we're gonna we're gonna cheat and use foundation. Is that enough? Look at that cheater's mark right on the ground. Jeez. Okay. There we go. Okay, so let's go and add this and then the things and the stuff. Oh, these guys have a funny sound, don't they? I like it. Now then, I was gonna add a thing. So what I should do with this, I'm gonna change this configuration a tiny bit, is I'm gonna do this and then have them come in on the side instead. That way we have one inserter and it will pick up from the whole line and that works better. Okay, so output there, input and input should be good to go with power. Okay, nice. Now we have these things happening. This is great. So this thing is continuing to get this. Now we also need to import the diamonds. That's the that's one important thing. Let's import like 200. Okay, local demand. And I forgot to I forgot what I was going to set as local demand for the other thing. Oh, whoops. That is not great. Let's get rid of this. And then this belt here can be the diamonds. And I'll, I'll just use this slow belt because it really doesn't need to be more than that. There we go. Just using it because we have it. Okay, and here we go. We are now having lenses made. I think I want to limit this to like one run row. That should be okay. Okay, this is exciting. We're making stuff. Wow. All right. Yay. The yay is real. Okay, let's look at tech right now real quick. Um, we have, we could do the research speed one. We could do veins. Yeah, I would like to also do ray transmission and solar sail life is good too. Maybe we should cancel this one though and just go for research speed first. Just get that going and then we'll get our mining going. Um, cargo stacking could be good. Do we really need it though? Not at the moment. Raise, we always could use that. And solar sail life is really important as well. Now let's see, what else do we want to have? Mecha core 5. This is actually really good tech, but we don't have green yet. So I'm going to go ahead and just get the mecha core things that we need. And we're going to have plenty of time to unlock the stuff that we need for green science. Now, this is a cool thing. Able to view the veins reserves in planetary systems within six light years. So we don't even have to look uh, from, you know, go there. We can actually just get it, uh, get the information by looking from here, which is really, really nice. Okay, let's just add that stuff. Just kind of like trying to drop off stuff where we can. Okay, so what is our situation with power here? We need to find that out as well. Okay, we're at 56%. That is definitely not enough. Now, should I... Should we use these kind of fuel rods for stuff? They are really good. Um, and they would really do well with the things that we need. But we don't have these engines. We really don't have the engines, and that's that's what's kind of stopping me at the moment. Now, I don't remember if we're making those engines, or you know what we could do? We could actually make them on the other planet and then ship them here. That would be really, really nifty. Nifty as a word, yes. <laughs> nifty as a word. Um, we have plenty of this stuff, the titanium alloy. We could import the titanium alloy. Um... Yeah. Hmm. Okay, let's go and see the warpers. I think we needed to change that to the demand here in the mall. And for now, I also would like to put some warpers in that one tower that's getting the solar panels. Is it this one? It's getting warpers? No, it's the local one. There we go. We're going to do the demand. We're going to demand stuff. Oh, yes. All right, so this is now functioning again, which is great. 
And I think, or I could just carry some over there. That's another option. But I am thinking of seriously, like very seriously making those engines like a kabillion of them because I think we're going to need them for other things. Let's see, do we need them for other things? Let's find out. Do we need them for green science? That's a good question. I don't think so. We might just need them for buildings and stuff. I've kind of forgotten. Okay, so gravity matrix is green science. And green science is lenses and those chips. And the chips definitely do not need them. So maybe we don't need a huge supply after all. Maybe we can make them with kind of minimal resources. Hmm. Okay, I have an idea that's kind of heretical here. It's very bad. We're going to steal some more stuff from our main planet or from our lava planet. Huh. There we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go there. No, don't get caught by gravity. Oh, okay. The struggle is real, but it's fine now. Particle broadband sailing across the sky. That sounds very strange. And it also might be time to maybe put up some more launchers. Because if we have more launchers, then we're going to get more solar power. And I think that's where we're, we're lacking. We put up our launchers like ages ago and we haven't touched them since. So I think it might be time to upgrade that uh, technology right now. Okay, let's see. Where are we? We are on the planet. There's some stuff this way. Okay, this is the... that stuff. Er, okay, we're going a tiny bit sideways. It's fine, that's fine. So here we have... oh! See, here we have this stuff. Hmm. But I think that's all getting used by the particle broadband and stuff. Okay, so it's fine that we're making it from those uh, silicon bars on our planet. I think that's just, just fine. We don't need anything else there. So now, let's see. We are... those are the motors. Uh -huh. But what I can do here is, what do they need? These things need motors, graphite, and magnetic rings, which means we're needing an iron deposit to make stuff. So let's look and see. We have iron here. There's iron here, but it's being utilized somewhat. <laughs> Not very much. Uh, even if we have a couple of thingies, so it should be fine. I think we're going to be fine. I think what we're going to do is we're going to steal stuff. I feel very good about stealing things right now. So let's put this as close as possible here. We're going to change this to be making those fancy motors. These guys, yes. Okay, this thing can hold the fancy motors. So let's go. Blue motors, I guess we can call them. Uh, and we'll hold like a kabillion of them. Sure. Not a kabillion, half a kabillion. Yeah. And we'll be remote supply for that. Yeah, I think this is going to be fine. I think we're going to have several of these. Look, the, the green motors are backed up right now, so we might as well make a few. There's no reason why not to. Getting all our green motors going on in here. Oh, this is great. And nobody will ever notice. Because this is all the backlog of stuff that we had. So this is what we want to have. This is going to be our output belt. And we'll add this here. To go that way. And I think the input belts will come this way. And we need what? We need graphite and magnets. Hmm. So I think we decided that the iron was he here. There's stone there. That's not what we need. We need either coal or iron. Our tower here is right there. There's iron there. Can we get a coal and an iron next to each other? Hello? We could use these two. Because I think this is going to be one of those things that we want to ship um, aerially. Like locally, aerially. Yeah, let's do that. This here. 
Um, and we'll put a secondary tower here. I do feel a tiny bit like I'm relying too much on logistics. Do let me know if you think that's the case. If you'd rather see like belts crossing the countryside everywhere. Um, but I feel like if it's half a planet away, eh, I feel like I should um, kind of export it. Or I mean, yeah, logistic it. Do two there. All right, and then we're gonna import, let's see. Magnets and graphite. We're gonna make them where they are. So we're gonna demand these things. Let's put in some ships. Uh, I don't know. Sure, five ships is plenty, I think. I should just not waste time on selecting ships and just go with whatever number is close. Okay. Um... They all are going input to the near belt. I mean output, yeah. They're inputting to the belt. Or outputting to the belt. Whichever way you want to say it. Belt is getting an input from the thingy. God, how funny language is. Like you can interpret it so many different ways. And I find it really delightful to talk to people uh, who uh, English is not their first language because they understand things differently and it really gives me a great insight into the language and just how people kind of get things and I find it really cool really interesting okay uh whoa whoa help <sighs> okay there we go all right so we have a tiny bit of coal here there's not much there's only 59,000 I feel like that's probably not enough now that I look at it. Jeez. There's 104,000 here. Apparently we're not yeah, we're not having a lot of coal here. Let's go for the 100,000 over there. Uh or here. Okay, and then we have iron there. So the iron we're going to make into some magnets. And again, this is just just for funsies. This is not not a major production line at all. I don't even know if I should bother calculating ratios. I don't know how many I had. Let's see. We had like six of these. Oh, there are numbers here. Oh my goodness. Okay. So <laughs> we need two times the thing. No, I don't know. Okay. We're just going to make some stuff. We're just going to make stuff right now. Yeah. How about that? I feel more comfortable just doing that. Yay. And then we'll just output what we can okay let's choose here magnety stuff see here i'm like hey i'm gonna calculate this and i'm like oh the numbers because my head you know it's funny because um yeah i'm not even gonna say but uh, the, it's i i can do math but the numbers jump around in my head they literally won't sit still so i just prefer to either use a calculator or wing it most of the time so that's the way I function. I used to be like top of my class in, in math in school, but uh, ever since I got my migraine, yeah, things are kind of not great. Not great on the mathing front anyway. But I'm happy that I can entertain you with YouTube and all the things because that's like, it's cool to me. I, I really enjoy that. So let's see, where do we have, uh, the coal is over there. So I'm thinking, let's bring this belt here, this away. Actually, I should do a survey for this. Yeah, if you uh, would like to participate in a poll and also help the channel out, those things are synonymous because YouTube loves when people participate. Um, I'm going to put a poll up and asking uh, if you like the logistics towers, do you think I'm using too many or too few or just right or whatever you think. Um, and if you think something different, please comment because there's a comment section as well. And that'll give me kind of a good idea because I don't want logistics stations everywhere because I think that's kind of boring. But I do like them some places uh, because some of this is, uh, it's hard to, or it's not hard, it's just seems more convenient with belts, shall we say. 
Well, this is fun. Four veins, and that's it. Jeez. Okay, we're just gonna mine the heck out of this thing, apparently. <laughs> that's funny. Okay, um, let's get belting going on down and that away. Sure. Okay, very nice, very nice. Now let's get ourselves a smelter or seven. Actually, we can calculate this because this is kind of important. So smelters for graphite are, let's see, it takes two coal for one graphite. So that's one per second. Uh, how many do we have here? We have two, four, so that's six, nine, 13, making this like seven or six and a half. So that's one, two, three. Let's put a power pole there. That's six, and then power pole. Okay. Oh. Graphite. Did I not copy this? Apparently I didn't. Okay. All right, now we can properly insert those things. get our inserters. Okay, graphite is made. I didn't look at the Ooh, research is done. Hooray. Research on research. Uh, here, I didn't calculate how many we needed. I just guessed. Uh, it should be fine. Ah, and I forgot to put power pole thingy thingies in between. But that's okay. We'll just kind of add them here. I kind of prefer having the spaces. I like that better, I think. All right, so let's see. We'll have our station in the middle. Like, maybe, maybe here. Sure. And it isn't exactly middle because I wanted to have it a little bit closer to one of the things than the other. So we'll have graphite and then we're gonna have the magnetic rings. Good. Power off cannot charge. That seems inconvenient. And again, we'll put in a tiny bit of these ships. Go. Good. Okay, very nice. We are getting stuff made now. This is so funny how like I've calculated all of this science stuff and now I'm like completely co-opting it for stuff like that's also necessary. I really should set up another assembly line for it, but it's like, eh, nah, let's not bother. <laughs> let's not bother. But these are picking up stuff, which is great. So we should have our first blue motors coming in. I want to watch this come in, though, because we want to make sure that it's working properly. But oh yeah, there are, there are the drones. And see, it is quite far away. So I think this is definitely a, a section worth using drones. And it's fun to have tall buildings every now and again. I think that's quite cool. Oh, there we go. There we go. No, wait, those are not the things. No, we're looking for these things. Yay! Boxes of motors. Hooray! Okay, so these guys are going to store up to 5,000 of these. Um, gosh, we're making these things here. That's fun. That's fun. In transit, minus 120. 
Are we actually getting those at some point? I'm now slightly confused about this. Like, where are those coming from? And why are we only getting five of them? There are so few coming in. Are we missing something for them? These guys are missing fire ice. Hey, we may be missing fire ice. That's great. That means we need to make some more. Go get some more. Oh yeah, there we are. We're really missing fire ice. Okay, we need to like go higher on this, maybe 5,000 instead. And I'm gonna add more ships as well. However, I think the real solution here Oh, there they all are. Oh, that's cool. There they are. They're actually these are the ships. And these that's the bay here. And the ship is here. They look very funny, like little boxes on top. Okay. Um, do we have a thingy thingy? We do. We have five thingy thingies. That makes things even better. All right. So let's make a stop to our friendly neighbor who we almost never visit. Rastaban Tree. And we're going to add more orbital collectors because I feel like we're running really low on fire ice. I think we can all agree on that. Let's see. Hopefully I can find the collector quickly. This is a funny planet because one of the poles always faces the sun. You can see how the stripies go. Okay. Here we are, and I don't see it yet. There it is, there it is. Hello, hi friend, how you doing? Now, if we improve our mining speed, I believe it improves this speed as well. Um, so we have it at max right now. The other thing we can import is hydrogen if we want to make hydrogen-y hydrogen stuff, or maybe burn it in some of our hydrogen power plants. That's probably a really quick fix for electricity on our main planet. Um, I think adding those ships should fix this, but we also need to add more collectors. So let's add a couple more. I could have sworn I added at least one more. Wait, which is the equator? I can't find it. Too close, too close, too close. There we go. I'm going to add a few of these guys. Okay, we have, okay, minus 6% ore consumption uh, and minor product, and then plus 10 mining speed. So that basically it makes more out of our, uh, out of our existing mines or anything that we're tapping. It, yeah, uses less out of the patch amounts, and then we get higher mining speed as well. That's very handy. Okay, there we go. And we have lack of item. Okay. Each mining operation consumes fewer veins and the mining speed is faster. Okay, so here we go. We now have a kabillion of these stations. So that's great. That is really great. Now we got to get away from here. Oh, that looks quite weird. It looks like acupuncture for the blue planet. Oh my God. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> okay, then let's go to our main planet. See, do we have enough? Yes, we have plenty of fuel. Green fuel lasts like forever. It's wonderful stuff. I love it. Okay, so we were co-opting those motors. And let's see where we can get those going. Oh, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. That's too fast, too fast. Okay, so this is red. No, this is not regular oil. Did I fix this yet? I didn't. Jeez. Okay, so this... Oh my gosh, I completely forgot what we were doing here. We were sending plastic off. Ah, oh yes, we need to fix this and add more refineries. Okay, if we have time for this by the episode end, I'll fix that. Because I keep forgetting about it. Because we needed, we only had half of them uh, working. So that, that's why we're only getting half the science we need. Okay, so, ooh, looks like we are actually quite short on hydrogen. So I might build a... Um, a tower there as well to get hydrogen in. Okay, so this one is requesting what? What do we need it to request? Motors? Uh, hello? Let's see. This one needs... This one needs motors and the titanium. Now, that titanium is not that far away. Uh, hold on. Down, 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 down. What, what are you doing? Get, get, get down, get down. This one has the titanium stuff in it. 
but we can just ship it on a belt because we don't need another tower right here right now I don't think or maybe we do I don't know let's see we have one more space and this is gonna be I think it's gonna have to be for the the blue motors hello blue motors where are you there you are okay request like I don't know 500 of them sure and it looks like how funny this is a big tower and yet I don't have any ships in it yet that's funny I wonder if it's getting it is getting the pink barbells from elsewhere that's strange okay anyway we'll put some in and we have zero warpers in storage hopefully the other place has picked them up by now picked some of them up okay I want to add a belt here for the blue motors those are gonna get picked up by this thing and I guess well there's another there's another thing we can do here and I think it might be better is to have multiple of these green energy thingy thingies uh, maybe even put them out here because we do need to have another tower okay I think I know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get a tower here okay and then we're gonna import hydrogen from the world because we can like a billion of it there we go remote demand and we're gonna put in uh, ships we need more ships though and I'll go ahead and put in a couple of these ships even though, though I don't know if we're gonna use them but here we're gonna sideload this belt and basically prioritize whatever's in here because side loading will prioritize we don't even need a splitter um, but that's gonna get stuff from the world which is nice okay and right now we have zero in this storage thing we don't even have enough to fill our deuterium our fractionators so but once we get some hydrogen burning in these plants I think it's gonna make life a ton better so these ships are they they're all still here powered off ah yes well we need power that would be helpful okay that's good this one is also powered off how did that happen it's, oh is it no I think this one reaches yeah that one does reach okay the next thing this needs I think we're just gonna ask for the titanium the improved titanium what is it called alloy right here get like sure 800 remote local demand yes okay that's gonna be here I'll put it like there there we are okay so that's sorted and now I feel like I should have <laughs> I feel like I should make this completely differently I feel like I should have a line of these going this way I think I think I'm gonna do that actually I'm gonna do that I'm gonna take this off take this one off as well go away all this stuff go away that can stay there potentially I want to get a an assembler okay let's just take that off and figure out how I want to do this I think I can make them along the beach like this possibly or maybe here maybe here this might be good okay let's start out like there this is gonna be green energy thing imaging ease green f deuteron fuel cells the best and the brightest made right here in KOS land now this is probably too many but I don't care I'm just wanting to make some and this would fit the definition of some 
And then I think we'll have our output go here. And actually they can go into the tower, I think. That's a good storage space for these because I feel like we're probably going to need some later. Uh, well, we definitely are going to need some later. I forget. I think it's green science that needs them. But sure, let's do... Yeah, local and remote supply. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, we get our solar ray energy upgrade. That is fabulous. And here, we want to have two belts. We want to have a belt coming in here. I think this is going to be our motors that are going to come in. Uh, we could do it a different way as well. Let's see if we can do this. Okay, there we are. Hello. No. There we go. Motors. Make sure that we are remotely demanding these. There we go. Because they are being made on the other planet. Ah, and here we can have this. Actually, we can stack more on top. Because we have stacking bonuses. Hooray! Okay, and then we're going to get... Wait, what conveyor belt mark was that? Hello? Upgrade? No? No, this is slow. We need to upgrade this. Hello? Yes. Okay, that's all the same now. Get conveyor belt mark 3 for the next bit. So this can come out here. not do what I just did, apparently. <laughs> Jeez. Alright, that's not doing what I want it to do. No, 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 no. Um, okay, so we're gonna do this differently. We're gonna do this differently. Yeah, very differently. I'm still not used to using uh, shift, can you tell? I keep forgetting about it. But it's such a nice quality of life thing. Okay. Okay, now then. Let's see if we can get some inserters in between. That would be very tasty. Okay. All right. Oh, wow. The overhead one has to zoom in. Okay. So output first. Let's just do that so I don't forget. want to see these things happen so that we can actually we're going to be able to get power from this if we can make enough now the question is is it worth it making those blue uh motors and i think it is i think it actually is and in any case it's like a transfer of energy from one part of the world to the other though there are of course costs to making the blue things but yeah it will be fine what is going on with that Oh, no, that doesn't work. I mean, it does work, but it's too much. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Better. Okay. Oh, things are happening. The things and the stuff are happening. Oh, and the hydrogen's coming in as well. Oh, this is nice. We have power. Wait, how much power do we have? Do we have enough? We have 63%. That's not a lot of power. Hmm. It's not a lot. Alas. I guess we can make more of these. Do we have any? Yeah, we do. We have a few. Oopsies. None here? Nope. I guess not. Wait, is there a... Yeah, there is no sorter. Okay. I think a few people were concerned that these were not connected to the power grid. Let's just see if that's the case or not. Oopsies. Yeah, they're connected. They are definitely connected. 
And I think here, what we need to do is we definitely need to upgrade this belt. Because right now, it is just not functioning well. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we're feeding as fast as we can go. What is our percentage now? 70%. Yep, I think it is time for the dawn of those Deut Deuteron fuel rods. Uh, we have 87 right now. We have a few on us in stock. Actually, let me just chuck them in a few of them. We don't need that many. Um, but in general, I think what we need to do is... Can I do this? No, we can't interact that way. No, sad times. But I can do this if I go... Let's see. Shift click these guys. No. I meant to control click these guys. There we go. I just feed them on the belt because you can't feed things directly into tanks, unfortunately. Um, but now, hey, we're actually uh, depleting the tanks, I think. We had three before and now level three is partially used, which is great. So as long as we can keep the supply of stuff going, and it looks like we have tons of supply here, I think in the next episode we're going to want to build one of those fusion power plants. I think that's what we need to burn these fuel rods. Mini fusion power station. And then fix that oil section uh, for the purple science. But I think this is a good time to finish this episode. Thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.